You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. Caillou helps out. Caillou and his family were having dinner. Everybody was eating, everybody except Rosie. Please finish your supper, sweetie. What's wrong, Rosie? Look, Rosie, I'm all done. You haven't eaten a thing. Rosie, not hungry. <laughs> but spaghetti is yummy. Mmm. <laughs> Caillou wondered why his little sister was so upset. And the mommy and daddy watched the baby bird flap his wings and fly all by himself. They thought the baby bird was getting to be a big boy. I, I mean, a big bird. The end. That was a very good story, Caillou. Thank you. Tweet, tweet. Look, daddy, I'm a baby bird. Tweet, tweet. And I am the daddy bird, coming to take the little bird back to his nest. Raw! <laughs> <laughs> Uh-uh. <laughs> now it's time for Baby Bird to go to sleep. Aw, I wanted to tell you another story. You can tell me another story. Really? Sure. Tomorrow night. Is Rosie okay? She's still crying, and she didn't even eat her spaghetti. She'll be all right. Her teeth are growing in, and that can hurt. My teeth don't hurt. No, but when you were small like Rosie, they did. Really? Yep. Maybe I can cheer Rosie up. Maybe you can help, Caillou. See if you can get her to fall asleep. Okay. Caillou didn't like hearing his little sister cry. He wanted to make her feel better. Caillou! Shh, Rosie. Can't you fall asleep? Just try closing your eyes. <laughs> Caillou tried to think what his mummy would do. Do you want me to sing you a song? Caillou sing song! rock a bye Rosie, in the treetop. You have to go to sleep, cause it's night time. Dad says your teeth hurt. I hope you feel better soon. So rock a bye Rosie, go to sleep now. Caillou was very proud of his song, but Rosie wasn't falling asleep. Sing more! No, Rosie, you have to sleep now. <laughs> then Caillou had another idea. Just a minute, Rosie. Hmm. Caillou thought a special toy might help his little sister fall asleep. He just had to find the right one. My very favorite. Here, Rosie, you can borrow my fire truck. <gasps> no! <laughs> it's okay, Mommy. It, it was just my fire truck. Oh, Gilbert, it's only you. Come and lie down with Rosie. See? Gilbert's going to sleep. So you have to go to sleep too, okay? Rosie want bunny. Okay, Rosie. Hmm. But Bunny was nowhere to be found. I can't find Bunny. How about your kangaroo instead? No. 
Suddenly, Caillou remembered where he last seen Rosie's bunny. I'll be right back. <gasps> Shh, Gilbert. I'm gonna tell you a story to help you go to sleep. Hmm, let's see. Aha! One day, Rosie and Caillou went to the fair and took a ride on a big merry-go-round on a kangaroo. <laughs> Rosie and Caillou all around the fair. Then the kangaroo jumped really, really high. Look, Rosie, we're flying like birds. Rosie, Caillou, flying! Flying in the sky was a lot of fun. They flew all the way up to the stars. Ooh, shiny! Wow, look at that! Pretty! <sighs> Rosie was getting tired. So the kangaroo took them back home. Rosie and Caillou waved goodbye to their new friend, the kangaroo, and went to bed. The end. Caillou was glad he had helped Rosie fall asleep. And now he was feeling very sleepy, too. Good night, Rosie. Sweet dreams. Good night, big brother Caillou. Caillou the Firefighter. Go! <laughs> Can I wear your hat, Caillou? But I want to wear it now. Attention! Time to clean up, everyone! It's just about time for our special visitor. Caillou felt bad about not letting Leo wear his hat but he really wanted to wear it for their special visitor. It's mine! No, it's mine! I had it first. I had it first. Come on, give it to me. No way, it's mine! Then Caillou remembered what Miss Martin always told them about sharing and taking turns. Jason, why don't you let Jeffrey have it for a while? Psst, Leo, over here. We can take turns. I'll wear my hat for a little bit, and then you wear it, okay? Okay, thanks, Caillou. Children, does everyone know what a smoke detector is? Mm. Uh -huh. A smoke detector beeps to tell us if there's smoke in the air. Why is this important to know? Because if there's smoke, that means there's a fire somewhere. Right. We have a smoke detector in our classroom. Can you find it? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> I can't find it. Smoke rises up. So where should a smoke detector be? Hmm. Oh. There it is. I see it's it. On the ceiling. It's up there. Yeah. Well done. Our visitor is here. Everyone sit down, please. 
children, say good morning to the fire chief. Good morning. Hello, everybody. I see we already have four firefighters in the class. <laughs> I like your hats. Mine can be a bit heavy. Today we'll practice what to do if there's a fire in the school. Does anyone know what that's called? A fire drill! Right! Now, first of all, fires don't happen very often if everyone is careful. But a fire can be dangerous, so we all need to know what to do if one starts. Today we're going to test the fire alarm. Whenever you hear it, you should stop everything you're doing and leave the school. It's very, very... Loud! Would you like to hear how loud it is? Yeah! Get ready. Here it comes. <laughs> Was that loud enough for you? Yeah! So we've heard the alarm. Now we need to get outside quickly and carefully. Could I have some help from our four firefighters? Caillou wanted to help the fire chief. But he remembered that Leo wanted a turn wearing the hat, too. Here, Leo. You can be a helper. Thanks, Caillou. Okay, Leo. Give me your hand. Now, everyone, hold hands in a line. It's important to be very quiet as we go. Ready? Let's go. <laughs> Good work, everybody. I've got a friend in here who is very anxious to meet all of you. It's a dog. He's cute. This is Sparky. Come on, boy. Come meet my friends. <laughs> Would you like to see him do a trick? Yeah. yeah. Sparky, speak. Good boy! Now, how would you like to be the first to sit in the truck? Can Caillou come too? Sure! Yay! There's room for two. <laughs> it's too big! <laughs> would you like to sound the siren? Yes, please! Now get ready, because this siren is very, very loud. It has to tell all the cars on the road to pull over and let the fire truck through. Ready? <coughs> Do it again, Caillou. It's Leo's turn. to be a firefighter when I grow up. Well, we'd be very happy to have someone like you on the team. Thank you. Who wants to be next? <laughs> Here, Caillou. It's your turn to wear it now. Thanks, Leo. I'm gonna be a firefighter when I grow up, too. <laughs> Caillou thought that he and his best friend, Leo, would be a great firefighting team.
Hinkle's barbecue. Oops, sorry, Mr. Hinkle. Caillou to the rescue. Guess what, Gilbert? Leo's coming over. I'm gonna show him the car Grandpa gave me. It used to belong to Daddy. It's in here somewhere. Here it is! <laughs> Gilbert, the toy box is for toys, not cats. Dolly, hi! <laughs> Now, Rosie, Leo's coming over to play cars. Dolly, hide! <laughs> Rosie, play too! <laughs> Not right now, Rosie. play cars. No, Rosie. You're not big enough to play with these cars. Rosie, big! Not big like that. You have to be big like me. Rosie, help Caillou. Oh, Rosie! Caillou, like many big brothers, didn't like it when his little sister messed up his toys. Now I have to start all over. Leo's here! Are you? <laughs> Hi, Leo. Guess what? My grandpa gave me a car that used to belong to my daddy. Wow, it must be really old. <laughs> uh-huh. And it has doors that open. Can I see? Sure, come on. Hey, Rosie, where are my cars? I bet we can find them. <laughs> Car is hiding. Where? <laughs> I think I know where to look. We have to rescue those cars. It's gonna be a big job. I know how we can get them out. Follow me. One. It's stuck. I'll help you. Hey, <laughs> Gilbert. <laughs> Gilbert, that tickles. Got it. Rescue team is ready for action. Hide and see. <laughs> Rosie, play too. <laughs> So is the red one and the one with the black stripe. Let's use the crane. Here they are. Now 
they're all safe. This is the one that used to be Daddy's. What have you two been up to? All these cars were trapped in the rocks, and we rescued them. That sounds like hard work. You must be hungry. How about something to eat? Yes, yes please. please. Okay, then. While the two of you tidy this place up, I'll go and fix you a snack. Caillou! Let's go eat! Rescuing cars is fun! Yeah! I like pulling them out with the crane! <laughs> Rosie played too. Not now, Rosie. <laughs> what are you doing with my car, Rosie? Rosie played car too. Caillou wasn't very happy about Rosie playing with his cars. But then he remembered how much fun he and Leo had rescuing them. Do you want to do another rescue, Leo? Yeah. Rosie, can you hide my cars again? <laughs> Rosie, hide car. Rosie could help us with the rescue. Yeah, she can drive the tow truck. Come on, Leo. We've got some more rescuing to do. Thank you. 